Supplies needed for oral care are the emesis basin, the toothbrush, toothpaste, a glass of water, and mouthwash if the resident would like it, and then something to cover their chest or a clothing protector. So typically all those will be in the room. So I'm gonna knock on the door. Hi Lee, it's Myra. I'm here to brush your teeth. I'm gonna sanitize my hands. Provide for privacy. I'm gonna sit your bed up a little bit. It's a little easier for me to work. And then I'm gonna raise your head up so we can make sure you're swallowing and spitting okay. Okay, so my hands are sanitized. I'm gonna put my gloves on. Everything feeling okay with your teeth? No new complaints? Okay, I'm gonna give you a sip of water first. So I have my toothpaste on my toothbrush. I'm just gonna set that on the barrier. I'll only put the clothing protector on so I don't get anything wet. Okay, then I would ask the resident to open their mouth. So we have a bigger set of teeth here so you can see what's going on. So we talk about different quadrants of the mouth. So if we divided this into four parts, so top and bottom and left and right. So this is one quadrant and this is one qu quadrant. So we typically do one quadrant at a time. Doesn't matter where you start, but we're gonna brush the outside surfaces in that entire quadrant. And then the chewing surfaces. And then the inside of those teeth. Okay, and just think about when you're at the dentist, it's hard to sometimes keep all that in your mouth, so we'll offer a rinse and, a, and for them to spit out. So the emesis basin goes right around the bottom of their lip and let them spit. And then you can use that towel to wipe off if needed. So then I would continue on the upper quadrant. So I'll go a little faster than you normally would, but it should be about 30 seconds in a quadrant. So we'll do the outside surfaces, the chewing surfaces, and the inner surfaces. Then we'd offer the rinse and spit. Do the same on the bottom quadrant, outside, chewing, inner surfaces, rinse and spit. And then outside, chewing surfaces, and inner surfaces of the fourth quadrant. And then we'd offer them to rinse and spit again. If the resident does want mouthwash, we could do that. We also need to brush their tongue. So I'd have them open up a little bit. You're gonna brush the front of their tongue. Think about the gag reflex in the back. So you don't wanna go all the way to the back of their throat, but you do wanna brush their tongue in the front. And then we'd offer a rinse and spit one more time. And then you could have mouthwash in a separate cup if they preferred mouthwash, and you would do the same thing. Let them swish it around and then spit it out. And then you would take the clothing protector and make sure that they're clean. Okay, and put that in my linen bag. You take the basin to the sink, dump it out, rinse it out, wash it with soap, dry it out. And if it's dry, I'm also gonna wash off the toothbrush. They can keep their oral supplies in that basin and then it usually goes back into the nightstand. I can take off my gloves. And I'd wash my hands. And then I'll leave Lee how he would like to be. Would, would you like to keep your head up? Okay, we'll still lower your bed. Make sure that that's locked. Open up the curtain for privacy. Are you comfortable? I'll give you your call light. And then things that we should look for while we're doing oral care, um, any cracked teeth, any reddened areas, if the gums bleed. Um, sometimes if oral care 
is you have a little too much pressure or it hasn't been done regularly, sometimes the gums will bleed. Um, if the breath is still bad, like you know when you wake up in the morning you have bad breath, but if the breath still smells foul after you've provided oral care, you should report that to the nurse. And then if it smells fruity, that's a sign in diabetics that they're having some complications with their blood sugar. So it'll smell um, kind of like fingernail polish remover, that kind of citrusy aroma. So you should report that to the nurse as well. Then um, I'd wash my hands and leave the room.